Uh, Brandon Judd, now the National Border Patrol Council president. You know, Brandon, uh, all of this at the backdrop of this Afghan national who was on a terror watch list, who was released twice by authorities before finally being reapprehended in custody now, I believe. Uh, but this happens. I, I always wonder, Brandon, I know I, I bore you with this repetitive question. What about those who get away? Well, and that's the problem with border security. When, when you look at the dangers that, that we're facing right now, when you look at all the tur turmoil from around the world, all of these countries understand what our policies are. They know how they can exploit our policies. They know that right now is the time that they can get people into the country illegally and, and they can sit and wait. We, we understand that when 9-11 happened, that these individuals came here and they were laying in wait until they were actually activated. And so when you look at the dangers that we're facing today, when you're looking at the turmoil around the world, when you're looking at all the countries that want to do us harm, that want to see you know, our government, if you will, overthrown, we have to understand that border security is a very serious issue. And right now, we're just not seeing the administration uh, taking any steps whatsoever to curb the flow of illegal immigration, which then facilitates the gotaways that we see every single day. It's a very dangerous situation. And unfortunately, we're going to pay the price sometime down the road. Well, you do have to wonder, you've been doing this a while now, Brandon, even though you're a young, spiffy-looking guy, but I can imagine when you started, this was relegated to just a few countries represented, largely Mexico, uh, you, you might have Guatemala, Ecuador, some of these others. Now it's grown to, to more than 120 countries. That alone says something, doesn't it? Yeah, when I started my career back in 1997, we were dealing vast, the vast majority of the people that we were dealing with were from Mexico. Every now and then we would see a trickle from uh, the, the Northern Triangle countries, but we, we never saw people in large numbers from China, from the Middle East, from um, Eastern Ukraine, uh, I'm sorry, from, from Eastern European nations, from the African nations. You know, it was a very trickle, a very small trickle. Now we're seeing large numbers, 161 nations when the United Nations only recognizes 100. 95, and we're seeing um, people from 161 of these countries. So uh, again, when we look at border security, this is all about, it's all about the safety and security of the American people. And in, until we recognize that, and until the people actually put pressure on their elected representatives to get something done, we are, uh, unfortunately, we're going to continue to be under attack. You know, um, you've heard about this Mayorkas impeachment effort, uh, impeached in the House. They Want to get the trial going in the Senate? Chuck Schumer kind of dragging his feet on that. I don't know where that goes. But I do want to ask you the next, obviously, let's assume, uh, you know, it goes to a trial in the Senate. He's not going to go anywhere. It, 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 he won't be convicted. So then the issue becomes to what end? I mean, what, even if he were thrown out or, or even the president fired him and replaced him with someone else, that other person isn't going to sing a different tune or have a different policy. Will he or she? No, you're, you're absolutely correct. I mean, you got to remember that the, the cabinet member, uh, cabinet level members, um, they are appointed by the president, so right. they're they're there to do the president's, um, um, you know, bidding, if you will. Um, but what the reason why I want to see a trial is because all of the evidence is going to show everything that is happening. It's going to show what's happening on the back end as well. You know, everybody talks about the numbers that we're seeing on on the border daily, but look at what's happening on the back end. Every single time somebody gets a notice to appear, they fail to show up to their court. Appearance and then a warrant uh, of arrest is issued. We're not going after that. We're, we're not fulfilling those warrants. And so on the back end as well, once people are here illegally, they're never leaving this country. We just, ICE doesn't have the resources to go after every single person. You know, we've only got a few thousand ICE agents throughout the entire um, United States. So, so it's, it's uh, again, it's dereliction of duty and a trial. What that will do is it will show the American people and the mainstream media will then have to cover it. And it will show all of the the evidence that is currently happening and that is is very important for people to make an informed decision when they're going to go before when they're going to go to the ballot box and that to, to me that's the most important thing about this interesting what it could re reveal um brandon thank you very much brandon judd the national border patrol council 